Hello, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sheba, and I'm on here to share the last collab for the hashtag 757 Use Those Dollar Tree Stickers collab. Um, this has been a fun collab, you guys, using my Dollar Tree stickers, trying to come up with different projects to go with different collections that I already have in my stash using the stickers. But it could be kind of challenging because they don't go with a lot of collections, you guys. But they're so cute when you see them hanging up in the Dollar Tree on the shelves. You just got to have them. So like I said, this was a very fun collab, but we just all decided to make this our last collab. We will still do our mixed media collab until the end of the year. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and end the Dollar Tree one. So uh, before I get started with sharing with you guys what I created, I hope that you're all having a wonderful day. Happy Sunday to you all. And as always, I'd like to thank all of my new and my returning subscribers for coming back to my channel and watching my videos. So thank you all so much for that. So I'm going to mention another lady. So of course, it's myself. It is Don, who is Dare to be Creative. It's Lisa, who is Miss Little Scrappy. Susan, who is Susan, Susie Q Crafter 21. They all have YouTube channels. And then there is Donna, who does not have a YouTube channel, but she does have an IG. And it is D underscore K underscore Crafts. I will leave their links to their channels and Donna's IG in the description box down below. So, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys just a few of the things that I did use. So, I did pull out this Tim Holtz ideology. Um, it's called the Correspondence Paper Pad that I got from Tuesday morning uh, a while back, you guys, several, several months ago. So, it's just more like a travel theme paper pad. It's double-sided. Really nice, kind of mixed media style in some sense vintage so yes yeah. so i did use that and i did actually use um some of the cutter parts out of this paper pad and then i also used my tim holtz distressed ink and vintage photo i used these dollar tree stickers which i bought two packs so this is what they look like when they, when they were in the dollar tree um it was 134 pieces and they had these several years ago so, like I said, I have about two packs. I've used them before, and I have a lot more to use, you guys. So, yeah. I forgot I had these when I was going through my sticker stash. I've seen those, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I have some cinnamon stickers I forgot I had. So, yeah, so I got those, or used those. And then I also bought two packs of these stickers, but I used one full pack on my project. And so, this is the stickers of Hot Air Balloon uh, that they had came out with this year. And it's like more of a mixed media look to me. So that's the look that I kind of went for. But I kept it very simple because I can add to it later. So here is my first one. This is my first card that I created. And so the decorative paper has like the postage envelopes on the back or, you know, all over it. I did back it on 110 pound cardstock to give it some sturdiness. I used some little pearlescent uh stickers here from that i got from daiso here is a dollar tree sticker that says a wonderful trip and then i use the two hot air balloons from the dollar tree sticker pack so so cute very simple i can always add like a little eyelid and hang a dangle off of it or just add it to another project or whatever so really cute very simple and then here's the next one um with the two hot air balloons and then i just put the Pearlescent stickers, you know, diagonal. I put the amazing sticker down here. And this paper is like a typewriter print paper background. And then, you know, like I said, I went around the edges on all of them with that vintage photo. And then here's the next one with the matte background. And I just put the pearlescent stickers here. It says, be happy. Parcel post rate chart. So that's that one. And then here is the last one. It says one of a kind. And I just put the pearlescent stickers here and then here. And again, it's the map of the world. So yeah, very, very simple, but still cute. And, you know, something still nice to add to a project. So yes. Um, so like I said, I may possibly add more to it. Or I may just leave them like they are. But I think a little dangle, you know, the eyelet with a little dangle on the side would be cute if I wanted to do that as well. So yes, you guys, so that is my project for the last hashtag 757, use those Dollar Tree stickers collab. Um, I will be, I do have a bag of some items that I do wanna give away. 
And also, I'm going to be giving away some of the items that I did create using the Dollar Tree stickers. So, um, what I'm going to do is go back through my videos. And all the ones that have left comments on all of my videos um, will be entered into a drawing to win a bag full of, or a box full of goodies from the Dollar Tree. Um, I may add some other things in there as well, but um, that's what I have so far. And I have been buying, you know, several things over time just to have a nice size box to send to one lucky winner um, for this Dollar Tree sticker collab. So, yeah, so be on the lookout for that. And, yeah, you guys, so that is all that I have to share. Again, go check out the other ladies' channels. Let them know I sent you. I do want to thank you all so much for watching. You all have a great day. Again, have a great week ahead. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye, you guys.